All right, so now we're gonna walk through setting up a basic Facebook ad. The screen we're looking at right now is a page within Ads Manager. For those of you who are not familiar with Ads Manager, when you log into your Facebook account, you can see on the left-hand column here where, where it says Ads Manager. And if you don't see that, there's a drop-down button on the right here where you can hit Create Ad. This is gonna take you to the Ads Manager where you can set up your first Facebook ad. So the first thing we wanna do is choose our objective. You can see Facebook lists out several objectives for you to choose from. Boost your posts is if you want to increase engagement to get more Facebook likes and comments. You can promote your page if you just want to get more Facebook likes in general. You can send people to your website. And what we're going to do today is increase conversions on your website. And what this does is it allows you to track the actual conversions from your Facebook ad. Now, one thing to note is that this is only gonna work if you've set up your Facebook tracking pixel. And we can answer questions on that during the Q&A. So now all I need to do is enter the URL that we'd like to promote. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that here. And then Facebook is gonna pull up a tracking pixel. This is not the one that we want. We have several set up. You will probably only have one. But for this case, we will go ahead and select the correct one here. And then all we need to do is give our campaign a name. Let's call this ARC 2016. And now you just have to hit continue. So the next step is you're gonna set up your audience. You have a few options here. The first box where it says custom audience, you're only gonna use this if you have imported an email list or you've set up retargeting on your website. The next option is location. So we're gonna go ahead and target people in the Annapolis area. So let's go ahead and do Maryland. We'll do Virginia, and we'll do Washington, D.C. So now we've narrowed down our pool to these locations. The next item down here is age and gender. We're going to leave these as is, but if you want to target maybe a younger audience, such as millennials, you can change the age there. Or if you have only a female race, you'd obviously want to target women here. For now, we're just gonna leave it as is. And then if you scroll down a little further, you can actually do some detailed targeting. So this is where you can target people based on interests, their behaviors, or other demographics. So we're gonna go ahead and target people who are interested in road running, and then specifically the half marathon and the 10K, since those are the two distances that the Annapolis Running Classic offers. The next item down here is connections. So you can add a connection type either someone who likes your Facebook page, has downloaded your app, or is participating in your event. So we're gonna go ahead and select friends of people who like the Annapolis Running Classic page. Select our page here. And then the next step is to set your budget and schedule. So you have two options for budget. You can either have a daily budget or a lifetime budget. I prefer to do lifetime so that I can set up the exact start and end date. So we'll go ahead and start it May 2, and we'll run it for about three weeks. And let's give ourselves $100. Okay. Now this section for optimization for your ad delivery, I always just leave as is. Facebook does a good job of setting a bid that helps you get the most results at the best price. If you want a specific bid there, you can go ahead and do manual. But like I said, I would just recommend leaving it as is. And then we just have to give our ad set a name. Let's call this ARC 2016. And since we kind of targeted locals, we'll call it locals. And then just hit continue. All right, so the next piece here is the creative. So you have two options for the creative. You can either do a single image or a video, or you can do multiple images in one ad, which is also known as a carousel ad. We're gonna go ahead and just do one image. We'll upload that now. And you'll see the recommended image specs over here that Facebook has. We highly suggest that you, that you create a specific image size to those dimensions. This is gonna ensure that it displays well on Facebook and you're not cropping anything strangely. So you probably won't have to deal with this, but you wanna make sure you have the correct Facebook page checked off here. And the same with Instagram. What's nice is that Facebook has a preview section over here. So you can see exactly how it's gonna show up on your desktop newsfeed. You can see how it's gonna show up on mobile, on Instagram, 
on the audience network, which is a third party, and then the desktop right column. If for any reason you don't want it to display in any of these feeds, you can just hit this remove button over here. So the next item is you just want to make sure you have the correct copy in here. So let's say we want people to sign up now. And we'll say prices increase July 31, sign up today. All right. And then the last item down here is you have the option to select a call to action button. So by default, it's going to say learn more, but you can do apply now, book now, donate. We're going to go ahead and select sign up. And you'll see that that changes the button over here. And now the last thing you want to do is review your order. And this is just to ensure that you have the correct targeting. You want to check and make sure your budget is accurate and the date your ad name, your copy, your image, and then all you have to do is hit place order.